So how do you find the right investors for your round? Well, there's a number of different um, things to consider here, not least the type of investor that you reach out to. So first of all, you need to do your research. You need to think about finding investors that understand your niche, have an interest in your sector, have really enjoy working with and have worked in the past with founders in your space, because they're the ones who are going to be most likely to be interested in investing in your business. So you need to be doing your research. You need to be using tools like Crunchbase or LinkedIn to do your research and find um, investors. Now there's a few different ways of doing this. You can research companies that are similar to yours that have recently raised funding and you could find the investors that invested in them. You could simply look for investors listed in, on Crunchbase under a certain niche for a certain round size. You could have a look at businesses that have recently exited in your niche because suddenly in this position you have founders that have recently um, exited. They've suddenly got a load of capital that they didn't have a few years ago. They, they've got this huge amount of capital and what does what's the, one of the first things that founders do when they have a huge exit for their startup? They think I'm going to start investing in founders like me and get their businesses off the ground. So you can look and approach those founders of, of people who have successfully exited in your niche. You could also look at the investors of those exited businesses in your niche as well, because they've just had a massive payday and an investment in your sector has just paid off big time for them. So they might be willing to invest in something similar in a similar niche because they know that they've had a great success in that space already. So there's a few different ways you can start researching and building a target list of potential investors. But the other thing you can do is actually use LinkedIn to just reach out to your existing network. You can promote your investment campaign to your existing network and you'll be able to draw people out who you already know, like and trust and perhaps never even knew were angel investors. So you can put a post out about your investment campaign and suddenly start attracting the CFO or the CEO or the founder of, of businesses that you've interacted with or perhaps even worked for in the past and you had no idea they did some angel investing on the side. They don't list themselves as an angel investor but they're interested in talking to you about your investment opportunity because they know you, because they like you, because they trust you and because they also happen to invest in businesses. So there's a few different ways you can start to, to put the feelers out and find the right types of investors. Now, when you are reaching out to the investors, you need to be doing personalized outreach. You need to be explaining to them why you've chosen them, why you think they'll be a great fit for your business before you go straight in for the pitch and the asking of the money. You need to make them feel like you have targeted them specifically because of X, Y, and Z. Perhaps we've realized that they have invested in company X, Y, and Z, and you're doing something uh, similar in a similar niche and you think they'll be very interested in it um, and of course introductions you know you want to be getting introductions to some of these people through your existing network as well because that always means that there's a an extension of that know like and trust you someone's using their social capital to vouch for you and say you should speak to this founder I think that they're really good and they're really onto something exciting so they're using their social capital and that becomes your social capital and means that then uh, an investor is much more likely to engage with you and respond with you. Um, so that's about finding investors, but it's not necessarily about finding the right angel investors because there's lots of different types of investors and different characters and you need to make sure you have the right investors for you in your business. So you might want to interview those investors. They're going to be interviewing you about whether or not you're a great investment opportunity, um, but you should be interviewing them about whether or not they're a great investor. So you want to be finding things out from them. Are they a passive or an active investor? You know, do they like to get involved. Do they want a seat on the board? Do they want some advisory capacity within your business? Or are they pretty passive? Do they just put the money in um, and then leave you alone? Now, now, for some of you, you would ideally want an active investor that can bring uh, knowledge and value and support networks of people that can that, that they can introduce you to. Whereas some of you think that oh, I really don't want investors getting involved. I just want their cash. And I'm actually looking for a passive investor that's happy to just leave me to it um, and deposit their money with me. So you want to find out the investment style of the investor you're dealing with to make sure you end up with the right character type. Because if you want a passive investor and you end up with an active one who likes to get very heavily involved into the day-to-day -day of the business, 
you're gonna be pretty miffed after a couple of months. You're gonna get, the relationship's gonna break down. And vice versa, if you're expecting your investors to support you along the way and they're pretty passive and they just kind of let you get on with it, you might feel like you're not getting the full value of having an investor on board. So you need to make sure you're interviewing them and finding out whether they're passive or active. You want to find out, of course, whether they can bring anything else other than money to the table. You might want to find out whether or not they're looking for SEIS or EIS shares if you're talking to UK investors with a UK company. You might want to find out whether they've ever led a seed round in, in the past or a series A round, whatever round you're on, but have they ever led a round in the past? Because you might need them to lead your round. So you, you might want to know whether that's something they've ever done, something they'd consider doing. And you're going to want to find out what typical check size they write. Right? There's no point in talking and spending time trying to get an investor to invest in your business if they invest in two smaller check sizes and you're really looking for a few larger investors rather than lots of smaller ones. So find out what kind of check size they write and whether that fits with your strategy and what you're looking to achieve. So you can interview them as much as they are interviewing you through this process. And of course, they're going to be doing their due diligence on you. So you should be doing your due diligence on them. See if they'll introduce you or, or happily tell you a couple of their portfolio companies. So then you can connect with that founder and find out whether or not they're a good investor, they're as good as they seem. Because often it's the case that people don't follow up on their promises or, uh, and the same is true with investors. So you need, to, you need to do your due diligence on them as much as they're doing their due diligence on you. And we've had a couple of clients that have really dodged a bullet um, by reaching out to some of the portfolio companies of an investor they're talking to to do some due diligence and find out what the relationship's like and found out well, I think the response was if I could go back I would never have taken their money now when you get a response like that from a founder who's had investment from them it's going to make you think twice about moving forward with that particular investor so do your due diligence on the investors as much as they are on you and then you will find the types of investors that you want in your team you'll find the right angel investors the ones that are going to support you in the way you want to be supported and be part of the wider team and be and drive your your business forward so trust your gut do your research interview the investors uh, and then you will sure to find the perfect investors for your business